you can um, start to center your clay next. And in order for your clay to stick on the plastic fat, you have to have a little bit of water because it's like suction. Now, you don't want to get the whole thing soaking wet because will the clay stick to it then? No, it won't. So you just want a little bit of water. I have it so like it's almost dry. Even if you put the water on there, you can see how quickly it dries around the edges. Okay. Then you're going to take your clay. Obviously that was real quick. And you can see this dot in the center. You want to get your clay to stick right on that dot. Okay. And you have to put it on there kind of hard because that's what sucks it to the bat head. All right. Make sure you can see if you can't see it come on the sides of me because if you can't see, you're not going to know what to do. Um, and then once you have that on there, you can get your hands wet and you can put a few drops of water right on the top of your clay. Okay. And then you're going to use the palms of your hands just like you do for wedging, just like you do for rolling your coils. Okay. Um, so I can even do it without even using my fingers. You see how I lock my two thumbs together here? Look where my elbows are, right here, okay? Because my core and my back are gonna do everything. My hands are just the tool, okay? Um, so I'm gonna lock my fingers together and my elbows are right at my hips. They're always planted, okay? And then once I do that, you can see just by adding a little bit of pressure, the wheel is not spinning super, super fast. Um, if you do it at full speed ahead, it's going to be more difficult for you guys because as soon as you touch it just a little bit, it wants to throw it off center. Like gravity just takes over. Okay. So your arms should not be flapping around out here like this. Okay. Your elbows need to be right here against you. And then you can put your hands on here and you're going to press straight, straight down with pressure. And I lock my two thumbs together. It doesn't matter which way you do it. Whatever's more comfortable for you. You can see already that I changed the shape of that clay real quick. Okay. The amount of pressure that you put on, you want to put pressure on the right side and on the top at the same time. So you can see on my palms of my hands over here with my right hand, the pressure is more towards this corner. And then with my left hand, the pressure is more in the middle because I'm pushing down on the top and pushing in from the side at the same time with equal amounts of pressure because that's what's going to get it centered equally. Okay, so I'm going to go back here. And then the other thing is, is if you look at my hands, the placement of my hands, is my right hand touching the wheel head? If you're over here, you can see. It's not, it doesn't touch the wheel head at all. And over here, if you can look at it from the left, my hand is right above the wheel head. It's not down against it. You don't hear it dragging, okay? If you put your hand down against the wheel head and you hear it dragging, what is it doing to your hand? It's gonna burn the skin. It's gonna give you like floor burn. Okay, so your hand needs to be right above the top of the wheel head and not drag. And then once you hold it straight enough for long enough, you can carefully and slowly lift your hands off and you can see that the clay looks like perfectly centered. Okay, now this bottom edge down here around the outside won't be because my hand wasn't all the way against the wheel head. But if I do this with my sponge now, start here in the center and just move down to the side and then press right here at this edge. It'll take off the extra clay at the bottom and it makes it centered. You see how it's totally round now? And this stuff is like slip, okay, because it's the clay mixed with water. You can just wipe it off on the edge of your bucket and then you'll see you start to get it on your hands too. Just take your hands and wipe them off on the edges of the buckets, okay? So at the end, then you're gonna take this outside and dump it in the grass because you can't dump it down the drain, why? it'll clog the drains okay so that's how you center the clay I've done it millions of times so it looks super easy Caitlin is it easy no it is not okay all right stop that one